Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? Man, I hope you're doing well. Time again for another pocket dump deconstruction. News flash, news flash. Um, Spydeco has been in touch. We have three new Spydecos on the way. Hopefully on Thursday we'll have them. We'll probably have them Thursday after work. But even if it's Thursday after work, you can expect, if I do get it Thursday after work, you can expect a Thursday evening video, if you follow day to day. If you don't, and you're watching this in the future, go check out <laughs> the knives of the day that probably starts Thursday after you, uh, this video was recorded. Um, and I'm expecting three, three very interesting very different knives from Spydeco. I'm excited. Um, and we'll do those three days. So it'll be Thursday night. We'll let that play out depending on how late it is. I'd like to keep up the video. That one might keep up for a while. Uh, maybe through Friday. And then we'll do Saturday as a knife and then Monday as a knife. That's if it comes on time. Knock wood. Okay? Three brand new Spydecos just released. I'm excited. But let's talk about this pocket dump deconstruction. Uh, today I'm wearing my Rolex Night Jest because I need the classy power <laughs> that I feel. I feel good with my Rolex Night Jest. Excuse me. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Monte Cristo's, that is the first Cuban cigar that I smoked. And then a Cohiba because I had heard so much about Cohibas before I got my hand on, a, on one. And I have a lot of Monte Cristo's. I love it. And this is the Monte Cristo, the Open series. And this is the Masters. Uh, just a wonderful cigar. My Thai Shown Design Pin. Again, Shon Design, um, S-H-O-N, underline, design is D-S-G-N in their heading, or just Google it. Um, now, they're out of Massachusetts. Now they have ones with clips and stuff. This is not an ad. Trust me, not an ad. I pay for everything, but good folks. He has Instagram as well, so go check it out. Um, I'm going to do vodka today. A nice, good vodka. Uh, my Mont Blanc wallet, one of the... I have two skinny Mont Blanc wallets. That's why every time you see one of the skinny Mont Blancs, you hear me go, one of the Mont Blanc wallets. Yeah, I admit, I picked my coin fast. This is the Chinese Panda coin from 2018. Every year, there's a Chinese Panda. I have some very old and very expensive Panda coins as well. Um, but I wanted to carry this Chinese coin, 2018. They're popular, the most popular coin that they sell. And a lot of people collect them. Before we get to my knives, you can see I had a type in mind today. This is Smithson leather notepad. I bought a lot when I was consulting. I bought a lot. And I'm thinking, uh, let's see, I'm trying to, <laughs> this is why I never tell you where I'm working and stuff. You know, I, I miss that consulting world a little bit. But this is a leather notepad. Uh, pad from Smithson. You know, when you're uh, consulting, there's different looks you need for different clients, and this is so classy, but a wonderful notepad. Yes, you can do notes on your phone, you can do whatever you want, but nothing's better than old school, even in front of young clients. Trust me, old school is nice. I mentioned this in one of my videos, you know, I do the square head. I remember the original Spydeco square head. It was one, like a tag 
uh, knife. And the great thing about it is it locked. Had a frame lock. It was all titanium. Um, and the steel was S30V steel. CPM S30V, great steel. Spyderco came out with lightweight, um, uh, a lightweight square head, two of them, one gray FRN scales and the other black FRN scales. The steel is a less expensive steel, American steel. You hear this a lot too, CTS BD1 steel. That was to get the price down, still have it as a great cutting tool. They have like liners now. This is more of a line, this is a liner lock. The other one didn't have liners, it just frame lock. They did keep that pivot, which I like. It's nice, smooth, wonderful keychain knife or put it around your neck. It's a very good, very functional knife. 1.3 inches, the, um, the edge is 1.1 inch and the total length is 3.5 inches. And it only weighs 1.2 ounces and because of those price cuts, it's not titanium. I still love, by the way, the first version of the square head. I just carried it like a week ago. But this, with the FRN scales and the texture, still a locking knife. Now it has liners inside of it, a little sturdier. I really like it. So I'm going to carry that today. I had forgotten all about it, and I think I mentioned it. I had forgotten. I, I think I had the the first square and I said I haven't used those I have both the gray this is the gray and the black FRN scales I'll tell you I started with the patata and we'll talk about that and I was like uh, if you ever see the knife of the day on the patata I call it I'm in love with the patata it just feels so nice in the hand it's a big knife but it feels thin well when I went with um, Wee Knife, the two first Wee Knives I had, um, this was one of the two, and oh, I fell in love, of course. It's thin. Wee Knife Company, yes, it's a Chinese knife company. They're wonderful design and the construction is wonderful. I haven't bought a lot of their flippers or anything, with Wee Knife, every one I've had, I have two slip joints and I have two uh, of the, you know, that you open with, well, I have one with a special spring that I did yesterday. I showed you yesterday, so go check that out. And this one with the lug. Let me just tell you about this. This is the Wee Knife 618H. I, with my slow opening self, is not giving this its due. Look on YouTube. This thing has such a great opening action. I just have fat fingers with a little bit of arthritis in it. And so I just open my knives, but trust me, you'll flick this like it's nothing. Um, it is so well made. You can see it's smooth, it goes down, great detent. And this is, was like this out of the box. You can just flip it open. And I know you guys love to flip open knives. This is a wonderful knife. Again, with Wee Knife, on the pivot is their logo. The blade is pristine. And then right here, real small, it'll tell you that the steel is Bowler 390 steel. How about that? <laughs> I'm st <laughs> it is 390 I wrote 390 yep bowler 390 steel which is just great the blade a lot of the Wii knives are on the larger side I did buy a smaller Wii knife and, and you can look at those videos two smaller ones but usually they are bigger but they don't feel as big this is a three point nine inch blade this is a big blade but man the thin dimensions of this thing is unbelievable it really is unbelievable 
the uh, the base of the knife, the handle, the scales are bronze and black titanium. Look at this. I love, now I chose this. It comes in blue and different um, colors, but I love this subtle color. Look at the back spacer. And this right here, these two holes right kind of on this smooth, this is your lanyard holes. Put a lanyard in, take it out the other side, and you have a lanyard instead of a hole on the scales. It is a frame lock. Man, it's thin, it's beautiful. The action up and down is unbelievable. Right hand only, tip up only. You see the real skinny clip that works real well. Oh, I was just looking, I saw the screw. There is this real thin stainless steel insert right there. That way it'll keep the titanium from wearing down, striking against this, that Bowler M390 steel. But it's so thin in there. <laughs> Um, everything about this knife is designed so well. It's a big knife, but because it's so thin, it fits great in my pocket. It really does. Ah, oh, I know. I go breathless over Wee Knives because it's a new thing. I've been collecting for a while. A lot of their designs I wasn't that interested in. You know, just chunkier. But man, when they hit the thin stuff, they hit everything I love about a knife. And if your problem with Chinese knives are that whole that they used to be cheap, knockoff kind of knives, well, We Knife Company, I can guarantee, is a class, I don't know the company, I just know the product. That is so well done. The fit and finish, the tolerances, everything is wonderful. Now, if you have political issues with China, that's you. You should be you, and I totally respect it. Please respect me being me. <laughs> me owning a knife from Wee Knife does not mean I endorse communism. Believe me, I don't. <laughs> In fact, me saying you be you is the opposite of communism, all right? But anyway, and the reason I went with that and I hadn't carried the Wee Knife 618H in a while as I picked up the Patata. I was going through my cases and, you know, even the, thin, the thinness gives them a thin profile within my Pelican cases. So sometimes I overlook it. I love the Patata. I love it. It's thin. It's wonderful. This is from Spydeco, of course. Um, the action is unbelievable it doesn't fall at least mine doesn't but i'm scared because when i have a frame lock or in this case it's a liner lock stainless steel liners i usually automatically release and give it a nudge with my index i always stop here because look it'll fall down on you it is smooth the detents great see how I'm scared I'm gonna cut and it is so smooth I love the smooth G10 I told you Spyderco does these scales smooth G10 is their thing they do a great job with it has kind of a roll to it it's not flat scales so it really fits in the hand nice again like the 618 H it has that long blade this blade is 3.9 inches, just like the Wee Knife knife. And it's thin, um, nice drop point. Uh, the edge is 3.7 inches. And this too has bowler steel. This is bowler N690 steel. Bowler N690 steel. I'm in love with the patata. I really am, but I didn't want to carry it. And at first, I kept it on my desk because I had loved it and I was <laughs> enjoying it. And I said, but I don't feel like carrying it. 
and I went back in my case and I went, oh, this is just like it. But you know what? As you can see, it's thinner. The Wii knife is still thinner. Just about the same blade and everything. This is thin, that is thinner. And of course, Spyderco didn't enjoy me slobbering over this enough. They added the wire clip, which I like. And then it has the lanyard hole. I really like the patata. I do. 4.1 ounces. It's a little heavier than this as well. Um, the uh, Wii knife is three ounces, but oh, both glorious knives with great action. You can flip this open quick too. Falls nice. I just like them both, but I went with the Wii knife for today. That's it. That's the Pocket Dump Deconstruction. Don't forget to subscribe, you know? Less than 30% of the people who watch this regularly haven't subscribed. Just take a couple of seconds. It just helps me out. And hit that bell too so you're notified because we will be doing thinnings. And that's when I look at my collection and thin out my collection at good prices. And that's always a first come first serve. So you wanna know, I'll announce that it's coming and then you wanna be there to snap the knife that you want. I, and I only sell to you guys, only this community on the Keith Kevin Kin channel. That's it. <laughs> so uh, you want to subscribe, you want to turn on that bell. Hey, I appreciate all of you guys. Take good care of yourselves. All right. Take good care of yourselves. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.